Hi guys, welcome to the All Nurses videos. So my name is Caroline Porter Thomas and I'm from the YouTube channel Empower In. And I'm teaming up with All Nurses to bring you a study tool to help you memorize the cranial nerves. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go over the cranial nerves very slowly. And at the end of the video, I will show a tool that All Nurses created for you and it will help you memorize the cranial nerves. What you can do when I show you that tool is take a screenshot either on your phone or on your computer and then you can tuck that tool away and then when you're ready to memorize this cranial nerves you can refer back to this video or simply just look at the study tool. So when you are learning new concepts remember to be patient with yourself. Repetition is the mother of skill so stay patient, stay driven, you can do this. Without any further ado let's get right into the video. So the first thing that we need to understand is when it comes to cranial nerves is are they sensory, motor, or both? First, let's examine each nerve one by one. Then I will show you a memorization trick with a visual tool provided to you by all nurses. One, the olfactory nerve. This is a sensory nerve and it helps you sense smell. Take some time to follow the line with this visual tool and see exactly where the nerve is. The second is the optic nerve. It's a sensory nerve and it is the visual nerve. So again, take some time and see exactly where it is on this visual tool. The next one is the oculomotor nerve. It is a motor nerve and it assists with pupil constriction and eye movement. The fourth is the trochlear nerve. It is a motor nerve and it assists with eye movement. The fifth is the trigeminal nerve. It is a sensory and motor nerve and it helps with facial sensation and chewing. And the sixth is the abducens nerve. It is a motor nerve and it helps with eye movement. The seventh is a facial nerve. It is a sensory and motor nerve. Sensory because that is where taste is processed and motor because it helps us with our expressions such as smiling, frowning, and other facial expressions. The eighth is the vestibular cochlear. It is a sensory nerve and it helps with acoustic, sound, and vestibular divisions or balance. The ninth is the glossopharyngeal nerve. It is a sensory and motor nerve, helps with taste and swallowing. The tenth is the vagus nerve. It plays an important role and is both sensory and motor. It controls the sensory and motor functions of the heart and glands, and it also aids in digestion. The 11th is the accessory nerve. It is a motor nerve and it helps with movement of the head and shoulders. And the 12th is the hypoglossal nerve. It is a motor nerve and it controls the movement of the tongue. And now for the memorization tool. Here is a sentence that will help you memorize the cranial nerves. On old Olympus treetop, a Finn and a German viewed a hop. Make sure you take a screenshot of this. And if you'd like to see more memorization tools, give this video a thumbs up. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.